grateful for AC and rooms, amen? amen. Well, I think what's awesome is that this morning, the temperature was a little less hot compared to yesterday. Blazing hot sun, we had an overcast, and isn't it amazing that we see just the beautiful sun come out, the, the clouds open up, you see the sun coming out, you see the birds chirping, the trees looking green, oh, and coming together, seeing that there's full of joy. And what I like about the Bible is that in Ecclesiastes 3 that there's a time for everything. There's a time for the blazing hot sun. There's a time for the rain. There's a time when you get a new job. There's a time when you have your first new child. There's a time when you first start dating. Amen, Jermaine. And there's a first time for everything. And what's awesome is that Jesus says that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. So no matter what time it is, no matter where you are, the harvest is always plentiful. And what's cool about it is that if it's always plentiful, that means that there's always something to sow. There's always, it's always time to go out and go after the harvest. So the title of my lesson this morning is the time to work is now. Turn with me to John chapter 4. John chapter 4. And we're going to see here today the time of the harvest and the heart behind sowing the harvest. John chapter 4. Come on, and we're going to begin here in verse 31. Meanwhile, his disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Wow. So here Jesus tells him, look. You don't know anything about the food that I eat. You don't know anything that sustains me, that keeps me going, that helps me to grow. And then Jesus replies back to them. Then the disciples said to each other, because someone had brought him food. So they're confused. Like, man, like, does he, man, do we actually know what the food he, he eats? Dude, like, what, who brought him food? Here he e explains to them. He says, my food, said Jesus. And we'll stop right there. So Jesus says, my food. So Jesus is about to explain, what, first of all, what is his food? Well, first of all, let's take a step back and see what is food. Food is any nutritious substance that maintains life and growth. So basically, food is what can get you out of, the, out of, the, out of your bed in the morning. Oh, it's breakfast in the morning. I'm ready for breakfast. It gives you energy. It gives you strength. It, wants you, it keeps you going. It fulfills you. It encourages you. And so here Jesus is going to give the reason as to what keeps him going, what fulfills Jesus, what makes him keep going to go after soul after the harvest. Let's keep reading. My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say four months more and the harvest? And then the harvest? So here Jesus, he says that his food, his fulfillment, his his motivation, the, the, the very thing that strengthened him to go out and to sow the harvest is to do the will of God and to finish his work. But can't we go out and, and look, man, well, well, what work? What harvest? Every, everyone I ask is a Christian. Everyone goes to church. What is there to sow? What is there to go after? Well, you got to take a step back. What is a Christian? Do you know what a Christian is? Take it even further back. What is the will of God? Well, I'll leave that up for you to do a Bible study and learn more about that. Amen. But let's continue reading verse 35. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. Think about that. Why would Jesus say, open your eyes? Because your eyes are closed. Amen. But what are they closed to? They're closed to the fields. Your eyes are shut. Your eyes are shut off towards the field, but open towards what? Your life, your work, uh -oh. your school, your own, your own me time. But yeah, he's like, open your eyes. Look at the fields. They're plentiful. And that's what he says, four months and there the harvest. No, it's already there. Yes. What are you waiting for? And he says, look, if you go out, that will fulfill you. That will keep you going. Yeah. Don't stop. Come on, bro. But what is stopping us from sowing? Because Jesus says, here's the field. I'm giving you the vision. And if, there's, and if it's plentiful, I'm giving you. I'm showing you there's work. So what's missing? If you have the vision, you have the work. What's missing in the middle? Your heart. Your heart. Your heart to go out and to sow. Your heart to go out and, and labor. 
And I know for me, summer vacation is a time to chill, oh. to relax. And so when I, when I was a kid, I remember I'd be at home, school's over, just watching cartoons and sitting on the couch, my pajamas and my blankets, just chilling the AC. And, and my mom comes home from work, and my mom's a, a Mexican mom, so she knows how to work hard. And so she comes in, she's like, hey, like, mijo, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and mom and I was like, well, there's no school. I wasn't asked to do anything, so I'm just watching TV. You're like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, what do you mean there's nothing to do? There's, we live in a house, there's always something to do. <laughs> and you're, and you're come home, you all tell you, there's always something to do. Go wash the dishes, go clean this, go clean that, go vacuum this. <laughs> to a Mexican mom, there's always something to do. <laughs> but whether it be Mexican mom, American mom, German, there's always, to a mom, there's always something to do. <laughs> always. So when we go, so when we walk around and we look at the harvest, it's, it's not okay for us to say, there's nothing to do. I'm just going to stay home and not talk to anybody about God. But it's no, like there's always something to do. You got to go out and, and put yourself out there. But check yourself, if I'm, why am I not outside? What's coming before sowing the harvest? Because Jesus says, this is my food, and if we're trying to imitate Jesus, Christian, Christ-like, your food is to do the will of God. That's going to fulfill you. Not an in and out burger, not Chick-fil-A, but doing the will of God. And that should excite us. And that should excite us. Why? Because Jesus says, look, I got your back. Do, do this work, and I got your back. But understanding that no matter where you go, no matter what time it is, no matter where you are, there's always something to do. So don't wait to work because the time to work is now and to God be all the glory.